All right, guys. I gotta tell you. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Gotta tell you, I am impressed. The uh, what is his name, right? You can see it. The molten. What is it? The molten. I can't see the light. Oh my goodness. The molten angel. Of course, that's what it is. Well, listen. I just got my plate. This is what I did with my three minutes. 810-239-2901. <laughs> That's 810-239-2901. Public access. WFLV 92.1. Our Voices Radio. Always looking for fun music. And as always, there'll be more. Christy, when something tickled her, mm -hmm. she could she could laugh. She had such a, and it was infectious. You know, you had to laugh even though you didn't know what she was you laughing about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh God, I don't know. You guys used to hang out at that uh, the bar at the bowling alley, right? Did you go to the? Uh, 
What was that place called? No, that wasn't about the bowling. We used to hang out at the, um, when I lived in Sidgwick, I hang out with the VFW. The VFW? Oh, I remember that. I remember going to the Christmas party or some kind of party, walking there in the snow with my suede platform shoes on. Yeah, suede platform shoes? <laughs> Ain't no stopping us now. McFadden and Whitehead was was the song of the century or something. It was at VFW, I'm pretty sure. It was a Cape Verdean party for something. Oh, I know. And I, the funny story was that your mother, but that's when I think she had moved back to... Grand Point? To Michigan. Mm -hmm. think of, no, maybe it was before that. She was talking about how she would, she was um, a volunteer um, teaching English yes. to... Um, Immigrants, so, mm -hmm. you know, and how did she say it? That she was having a hard time teaching because of the different accents, teaching one of them. So her and I both were, um, oh God, what was his name, the author that we used to read? Don't tell me, Stephen. He, no, no, he, he was a, and his character was a, a police chief from Louisiana. And I had the worst time when I first started reading because he would be using these terms like he kept talking about a po' boy. Mm. A po boy. What, the, what the hell is a po' boy? I, I have me a po' boy. I, have me a, I had never had a po' boy and none of the restaurants here served it. Uh -huh. You know, and she was, so she was talking about it how this problem she was having. I said, James Lee Burke, that was, I said, go tell him to read James Lee Burke. <laughs> and then you had a problem now. <laughs> nice. So, anyway, and they finally did open a restaurant, which I went with a friend on the Cape that actually had, oh boy, I couldn't believe it. It was on the menu. I said, what, well, what? I gotta have this. A uh, shrimp poor boy, I hope. Um, I think that's what I was. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do some poor boy. Yeah, I love me a and good And your mother, boy. and we used to come visit sister. Either her sister or your father's sister. It was her father's sister. Oh, no, and, Diane. Aunt Diane would visit. And she would bring makings for Chitlin. That was and, my dad's sister. <laughs> you, would, you would think they're talking about Filling mignon or something. Mm -hmm. Girl, you gotta taste this, you gotta taste this. You gotta come over, you gotta taste this. Chitlins, you gotta taste chitlins. Well, I learned you have to have a... A predisposition. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you have to, it's like, there were Cape, this Cape Verdean food too. Is that, right. Like, which we, might, we never had in my house, but the Kabulus used to have it. Mm -hmm. My ex-brother-in-law, mm -hmm. he'd go to um, Haymarket Square and buy pounds, pounds and pounds of, um... Big intros, uh -huh. What do you call it? Yeah, there was a word for it. Intestines? Not the intestines, the lining of the stomach. Oh. And he'd bring them home and it would be all like, you know, had this brown coating on it. Mm -hmm. And you had to sit and scrape it and scrape it. And it stunk like mad. Oh my God, he could... You gotta taste this, you gotta taste this. I took one taste of that and was like, oh. glad my parents never introduced us to that. Yeah. <laughs> I would think that it would be in uh, the Cape Verdean culture, um, using the whole pig. Yeah, well, this, you know, the tripe, that's what it tripe, is. Cow, tripe, cow tripe, 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 tripe. Oh yeah, my right. God, the stuff stank. And I mean, he had, had to buy it at the, you couldn't buy it all cleaned. 50 pounds. Now, guys, pounds. you can buy tripe in the supermarket, but it's all white, nice right. and clean. Right. He'd buy it, this thing is like, like I said, he had to scrape it and scrape it. It was like, oh my God. And it wasn't, I think it was one of those things I tasted once and it never intrigued me again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. anyway. So you say my my aunt had uh, uh, brought the. Uh, I think it was her that brought it. Yeah, because it seemed like me. The only time that your mother had it was when she was there. Yes. If it was your your aunt. Yeah. And, yeah, she wasn't going through all that. Oh yeah, I mean, the two of them were. Uh, 
I can remember them, like I said, you know, just as happy as can be, and, you know, <laughs> laughing <laughs> and whatever. Nice. My mother was interesting. She had, she had a, you know, she had that quirky sense of humor about things. <laughs> and that was the only time, it was the last time I think I went and drove into Air, Logan Airport. Back then, Logan Airport was one little, you know, it was a small airport. It was just the one building, all the planes left from there. There was mm -hmm. one road in and one road out. And it was your mother. I picked her up at the airport. I was living in Brockton then, and I dropped her off. And then, it, since then, I wouldn't go into Logan Airport anymore. Uh -huh. I, I wouldn't even find, be able to find my way in and out of there. It's gotten so bad. Oh yeah, they built that new highway, that tube oh, that did yeah, connect they or whatever. All roads in there. They have got different, whatever, whatever. Yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. One of my goals is to get to the Hingham Lobster Pound to Hingham. get some clams. Hingham. Is that place still open? I don't know. I haven't been down Hingham area in yeah. ages. Uh, all right. My well, clams. There's a place up here. I but, gotta get the Hingham clams. Oh, you want the Hingham? I don't know if they're gonna do them the same way. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if, I, if that's closed, I'll go for a second. But I gotta get some here. I gotta get a Maria sub. Oh, Maria sub, of course. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get Do you know three. they did a big article in the paper on Maria sub shop? Really? <laughs> and that one, and remember Ronnie Shones's was on the corner down near the high school? Yes. I guess that's been in the family, the Shones family, for um, a million years. Since the year one or something. Right. <laughs> and they did that. And, and my, my Nancy, my sister Nancy's son, Randy, Randy lives in the hell, Sharon or somewhere. He, he comes all the way down to Maria's <laughs> to get a pizza. Maria's some shop. And when he's there, he takes all kind of pictures. Of <laughs> I you like know? every days, Maria. That's like here up in Onset Ave. It's Mark Anthony's mm -hmm. is the place, the hangout place here for pizza and whatever. Each each sound has its own, and mm -hmm. I mean during that time in Situate. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Hang there was another one in downtown um, Situate that wasn't in, in the harbor. Yeah, I can't. Mm -hmm. I, I know it was closed the last time I went. Yeah, there's a lot of. But they julianned there. everything. Yeah. Julian onions, Julian uh, green peppers, everything was stringy on yeah. their pizzas. Well, you know, it's been so wonderful seeing you. I know, and I got to do I'm like, who's this? <laughs> I'm trying to listen. You were talking so fast. I'm like, I thought you were, because uh, uh, I get, uh. I get such a <laughs> spam call, you know. I'm like, who's this? Who is this? So then I went over there and I listened. I said, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> well, yeah, oh, it's so great to see so you. what you did that? My parents, we must have moved to Situate in 76. Oh, God. Huh? Uh, Oops. <laughs> mm -mm, you found somebody. 76. I'm going to go over the fence. 78. Must have been 78. Because oh, I did freshman yeah. and junior year in Situate, and then I did uh, uh, junior and senior year in Grand Blank. So it was freshman and sophomore. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's been a long time. I know. It's, it's been, been a long time. My next trip is down to Florida. Uh, I got to get back to Clearwater Beach. You like that beach? I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's gotta be snow. I need six inches or better of snow no. in Flint. Yeah, to, not, I, not in clear water, right? No, no, to justify me going to clear water.
Hey guys, listen, I made it to Situate, Massachusetts. I'm actually, actually in the harbor, but better yet, I am at Maria's Sub Shop. Remember I told you I was here as a kid, freshman, sophomore year? Well, this was the spot. This was the spot. And I made it just in time to say I got five minutes before they closed. So I ordered a couple subs. Uh, hopefully they'll make it back home. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I got one for Paul. Got one for Angie. Got one for me. I'm probably going to kill that before I get out of the parking lot. But um, that said, listen, if you want to get involved, 810-239-2901. That's 810-239-2901. And you know... There'll always be more after this.